Josh Jacobs once didn't know where he would stay the night to now becoming a star in the NFL. How did he do it? Well, let's look at the story of Josh Jacobs. So, using, the, using the helmet as a weapon. Watch how far Denard goes back. Holy smokes. Before I start the video, if you wouldn't subscribe and like, that would help a ton. But anyways, let's get back to the video. Josh Jacobs was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and was one of five siblings, and grew up nearly homeless as he bounced house to house. To make matters worse, when Josh was only eight years old, his father, Marty, separated from Josh's mother. Following the breakup, the custody initially went to the mother, until stuff went south following constant fighting between the kids and mother, and her even being accused of misusing child support payments. Josh didn't put up with the mother's unfair treatment and questioned why all the kids were eating Salvation Army food while the mother was given large amounts of money from his father. Well, his mother did not like him questioning her actions and kicked him out of the house. And because of that, Josh went to live with his dad while his siblings stayed with the mom. Although Josh was out of a tough situation with his mother, Marty and Josh would stay in Marty's SUV overnight as Josh would sleep and Marty would stay awake with a gun in his lap to protect Josh as Marty wasn't able to support Josh with the house. Although it wasn't an ideal home situation, Josh's dad was amazing in raising Josh and as you would guess, the custody of the other four kids went to Marty once again as the mother mistreated them time and time again. Over the next 10 months, Marty and the kids went from hotel to hotel and from cramped apartment to cramped apartment. Yet, it wasn't until middle school when Josh noticed that he was disadvantaged compared to the other kids as he could tell that they had better clothing that Josh just couldn't get. But Josh had a talent that many other kids didn't have on the football field as he dominated football as a star running back and took his talents to high school, where his football story really began. Josh attended McLean High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and made it onto varsity early into his freshman season. As a freshman, Josh played 10 games on varsity and had around 400 yards rushing and two rushing touchdowns. That year, the team went 7-3, but something really crazy happened his sophomore season, as Josh played quarterback and threw for nearly 400 yards and two TDs, but had two interceptions. Where Josh really shined was his original position, at running back, where he ran for over 1,300 yards and 12 touchdowns with nearly 9 yards per carry. Although Josh had a much better sophomore season, the team struggled and only went 5-5. Five and five. Going into his junior season, Josh was looking to have his best year, and that season he focused on the running game and started off great with 950 yards in only 7 games, and he had 14 touchdowns, two more than he had his entire previous season. Following this one-of-a-kind start, injuries derailed his breakout year but he was still able to dominate on the basketball court and was named to the Tulsa All-State basketball team as he led his team to the finals. Coming back from the injuries as a senior, Josh wanted to prove that he was one of the best running backs in the country, a thing that this Oklahoma magazine already knew, as he ran for over 2,700 yards and 31 touchdowns with an insane 15 yards per carry. No, you did not read that wrong. 15 yards per carry. Now I've seen some crazy stats making these videos, but 15 yards per carry might be the best stat that I've ever seen. And it seems like I was the only one to notice it, as Josh got way more attention than he did his junior season. But not as much as you would think, as he only got interest from schools like New Mexico, Missouri, and Iowa State. But for some reason, a little old school called Alabama. Not only was Alabama by far the biggest school to offer him, but they were also the sole reason why Josh was a three-star in the first place. Alabama truly discovered a needle in the haystack in Josh, and as most players would do, Josh committed to Alabama. As a freshman in 2016, Josh was thrown into the multiple running back system at Bama with Bo Scarborough and Damian Harris, but was still able to rush for almost 600 yards on 6.7 yards per carry and had four touchdowns along with over 150 yards receiving. Josh was already off to a strong start as a freshman and was hoping to carry that production into his sophomore season, but Josh was only able to run the ball about half as much as his freshman year, although he still had a great 6.2 yards per carry and over 250 yards yards along with the touchdown. But where Josh really shined was in the passing game where he had 450 yards receiving and three receiving touchdowns. White people, white people, white people. These stats are solid and make sense for a sophomore season. But once he realized he was playing the entire year with a broken ankle, it shows just how much a beast Josh really is. Finally, in his junior season, Josh was able to do his thing. And although he only ran for 650 yards, he rushed for 11 touchdowns and was able to add almost 250 yards receiving and three receiving touchdowns. Upon that, he was even named MVP of the SEC championship game against Georgia, where he rushed for over 80 yards and two touchdowns. These stats seem really tame compared to other players until you realize he split carries and catches with two other great running backs, 
Funny enough, Josh's brother, Isaiah Jacobs, is the Maryland running back right now, so it seems football was meant to be for the Jacobs. Nonetheless, following his junior season, Josh declared for the NFL draft, and his production alone got him on the top of many draft boards and made him one of the most desired running backs in the draft. Josh didn't do any of the workouts and just had measurements as he was confident that he'd shown enough on the field. And you know what? He was probably right. The Oakland Raiders select Josh Jacobs, running back. Alabama. Josh became a Raider and funny enough was one of the picks from the Khalil Mack trade. Josh had a phenomenal rookie season and from the beginning he played at the highest level where in week one against the Broncos he had over 110 yards from scrimmage and two touchdowns. Throughout the season Josh produced like crazy and in only his 13th week Josh got over a thousand yards rushing and was the first Raiders rookie to rush for over a thousand yards and he did it in only 12 games. Sadly to finish off this insane rookie year for Josh a shoulder injury and skin infections kept him out of three of the last four regular season games. But still, he finished the year with 1,150 rushing yards and seven rushing touchdowns, along with over 150 yards receiving. With these stats, Josh almost won Rookie of the Year, but the quarterback in Arizona took the title, Kyle Murray. which makes sense as quarterbacks usually win these awards. Following his rookie season, Josh bought his dad a house in Tulsa in order to show how much he appreciated him for raising Josh, even in the toughest of times. What a great way to pay it back. Why are you trying not to cry, dude? <laughs> Going into the 2020 season, it was looking like Josh Jacobs was ready to break out, but so far he has been a little underwhelming. Whether that is due to injuries or a sophomore slump, he's just not putting up the production like last season, and has nearly one yard per carry less than last year, and upon that has 250 less yards in the same amount of games with a better team. There's likely no playoffs this season for the Raiders, but hopefully Josh can get back into rookie form in 2021 and prove he is one of the best in the league. Josh Jacobs came from near homelessness to the biggest stage in the world, and he's not looking back. On one, Jacobs back in the game. The rookie for the touchdown. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Peace out.